namaste everyone in this lecture we are talking about the knower known and the process of knowing so we could see that the knower is the self that is i the conscious entity the known is the entire existence and when we talk about the entire existence we could see that the whole nature is there submerged in space and every unit in the nature has five dimensions so form property natural characteristic innateness and coexistence so to be known is the natural characteristic innateness and coexistence of every entity in the nature and that is to be able to see the natural characteristic innateness and coexistence of all the four orders in nature so you could see that there are nine things to be known the form and properties since they keep on changing with time and place and units so this is not the content of knowing but of course we are able to see that also but the content of knowing is these nine things the natural characteristic of the four orders the innateness of the four orders and the submergence of entire nature in space the process of knowing is awakening to the activity of contemplation understanding and realization so starting from realization we are able to see that essentially the whole existence is coexistence and when i come to see this directly it is termed as realization and with this my knowledge the knowing gets complete so i am able to see that every unit in the nature is self energized self organized being in space and recognizing its relationship with every other unit so i am able i am able to get awakened to the activity of realization by seeing this and when i am able to see this uh, there is a natural authenticity in my living we are next slide similarly i am able to understand the harmony of the four orders in nature i am able to see the innateness of all the four orders in nature something about which we had detailed earlier and this is understanding so i am able to awaken to the understanding and when i am able to awaken to the understanding a natural outcome is the determination within the self so the decision to live accordingly is there in the self as determination and this ensures bliss in the self with realization and authentication i am in the state of super bliss parmanand with understanding and determination i am in the state of bliss next bhaiya similarly i am able to contemplate on the participation of all the four orders i am able to see the natural characteristic of all the four orders and this takes place uh, through contemplation and when i am able to contemplate on the natural characteristics of all the four orders so naturally i image my living based on this and i am also able to see that there is every provision in the existence to live accordingly the natural participation that i am able to contemplate i can also see that there is every provision to live accordingly and this ensures satisfaction in the self so this is the process of knowing awakening to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization so presently we might be active only in block b2 ji bhaiya next slide presently we might only be active in block b2 and what we are trying to do here we are trying to listen to the proposals which are about the reality of the existence we are trying to analyze the proposals we are trying to verify the proposals at the level of natural acceptance and then we are trying to see the reality as it is isn't it so in block b2 we are active but presently since the activity of contemplation understanding and realization is not awakened so we might be dictated by certain preconditionings or inclination towards sensation for the sake of happiness and then there is no harmony in continuity in the self but being this state also we have that natural acceptance and that essentially means that i have the potential to contemplate understand and realize which keeps on reflecting in me the moment i try to look at my natural acceptance i am able to see that this potential is there in me i can contemplate i can understand i can realize only that i have not given the right priority isn't it so this may be our current state and here we can see that 
there is no continuity of harmony in the cell now as we had seen earlier also so this block b1 is my potential this is the dimension of knowing and i try to activate it it's not the case that the whole block gets activated all at once so we are trying to look into our participation and with that we are able to contemplate on certain feelings which are acceptable to us naturally and going by that gradually we are able to develop so this activation of contemplation takes place uh, step by step and with contemplation i am also able to understand the harmony in the nature step by step so my gradual development is taking place now looking into the natural characteristics and the and the innateness i come to a state when i have the readiness to see the basis of the self organization in the nature the basis of participation in the nature now when i am having that level of awareness i am having that level of inquisitiveness in me that i want to see the basis for the harmony the basis for relationship then i am able to also see the submergence of entire nature in space and this realization of submergence is not order by order or step by step but rather when i am able to develop myself to that state so i am able to see the whole nature submerged in space at some point of time and this is realization this is the state of super bliss and with that there is continuity in the self isn't it so while going from block b2 to block b1 we had seen how the activities get activated and now when i am in this state then i am fully awakened so i have the clarity of submergence i have the clarity of coexistence with realization g so when block b1 is awakened then i have the clarity of coexistence in existence that is the clarity of submergence i have the clarity of harmony in the nature the self organization the innateness i also have the clarity of relationship natural characteristic the participation in the larger order and here clarity means not something at the level of thought clarity means i am able to see it as it is i do not have any doubt any apprehension any uh, kind of second thought i am able to see it as it is yes the whole nature is like this the human being is like this the plants and trees are like this the whole nature is submerged in space so i am able to see it isn't it this is knowing this is seeing now when this is ensured then my thought is not definite so the comparing in me is not guided earlier it was not guided by coexistence harmony and justice now it is guided so there is no randomness no contradiction no conflict in the thought similarly the activity of sensation is also guided by goal and value so the sensation is not unguided anymore and i am always able to uh taste happiness in me and that this is there in continuity and that goes into my participation also so when i am able to know the reality as it is so this is my state this is the state of the knower this is your state this is my state and this is the coveted state for which we are working isn't it and this is essentially the level development in the entire existence isn't it ji bhaiya so we can see now that when the imagination is guided by block given then what happens so we have these five activities in block given activated and then you can see this arrow here the red arrow from contemplation to imagining so this block b1 is now guiding block b2 so earlier the self was deluded when these activities were not activated i was now not awakened but now when i am awakened to the higher level activities so my whole imagination is guided and then my conduct is also guided isn't it my imagination is guiding my conduct and now that since the imagination is guided by right understanding so my conduct is also guided so on one hand 
I'm able to see the whole reality as it is. On the other hand, I'm able to live accordingly. And my conduct goes up to my participation in the human tradition, isn't it? So this far we had discussed. Ji bhaiya. Next slide. So we'll talk about these higher level activities of the self, contemplation, understanding, and realization in detail in lecture 12. And the brief discussion is in the context of defining the process of knowing. So we discussed about the activities of the self earlier also. So if there are any questions pertaining to this, anything which is not clear, any word which is not clear, then please do raise your hand and ask. Now we can see that essentially I have to give the right priority to right understanding, isn't it? In the introductory workshops also, when we start the workshop, we start by looking into this that for a human being, right understanding is the first priority. And throughout the life, I have to keep on working on that priority only, isn't it? The rest follows. <laughs> so I'm able to see that essentially my development is in terms of right understanding, which ensures right feeling. And I only have to set that priority, isn't it? Through all my exploration, awareness, evaluation, ultimately I have to set that priority. The moment I'm able to see that at this moment, this is the first priority. I'm able to work for it. With the preparation that I have, I'm able to see further. G. Next slide, dear. So for self-reflection as a homework, knowing is specific need and activity of the self. Elaborate on what exactly is to be known and which specific activities of the self are involved. Is everything to be known definite and universal or there are some things that are indefinite? When you are seeing a reality, what is the range of your seeing? Is it limited to testing or you can also see at the level of comparing or even contemplate or even understand or even realize. So we have to evaluate. In fact, this is the actual meaning of evaluation. When we are talking about right evaluation, we are evaluating the development of the self, isn't it? When talking about respect, we talk about over evaluation, under evaluation, otherwise evaluation. So I have to see within me when I'm evaluating. So what is the level of my development? Am I able to evaluate it rightly for me or not? If I am able to evaluate it rightly for me, then only I can evaluate rightly for the other. And how do I evaluate myself rightly? By looking into this, what is the level of my awareness? Generally, when we try to evaluate, we try to evaluate on the basis of events. Okay. Now, events are a reflection. Our participation in the events is a reflection of our development. But we need to penetrate to that level when we are able to see that this is the level of development of the self. Am I able to contemplate on the right feeling or not? How I am preconditioned at the level of desire? How my imaging is colored by preconditioning? How my comparing is unguided? How my testing is unguided, enslaved by sensation. This is something that I have to do for myself, isn't it? The more I'm able to do it sincerely, correctly, I'm able to do it for the other also. Otherwise, the preconditionings which are ruling my imagination rule my evaluation also. So this was the homework that we had taken yesterday. So if you have any queries, any doubts, anything to reflect upon, you may raise your hand. I hope you are able to see this part. If any word is there which is not clear, you can also raise your hand and ask. So let me ask you, you can respond to the chat box. So all that we have discussed so far, is that clear? Are the activities of the self clear? Because uh, if something is not clear, within the activities of the self so that will keep on also hampering our observation in the lectures to follow very nice raj is saying why natural calamities occur is natural balance itself its existence yeah so if you look at the natural calamities so they are also 
taking place on the basis of the natural laws. So every order has its own natural characteristic, harmony, and the whole nature is submerged in space. With that, there are changes taking place in the form and property. Because of which there could be changes in the nature. And those changes we term as natural calamity. Isn't it? So there are certain events which are taking place in the nature based on that those natural laws. And there could be certain events which we are creating because of our lack of right understanding. So we can understand this. We can see that the self is the conscious entity which is continuous. And essentially, there is no formation defor deformation taking place in the self. So I'm going to continue. And the formation deformation is taking place in every material unit. And that is also taking place, isn't it? It's only that sometimes it's favorable, sometimes it's not favorable. So with the understanding of the nature, I do not feel unhappy about this. I'm able to understand this and I'm able to plan my living accordingly. Ji. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Uh, namaste to all. Uh, uh, sir, uh, this is uh, my reflection. Uh, when I look at that uh, nature, uh, uh, I can able to see that uh, coexistence uh, myself with uh, that is human order with all the uh, all the other three order and uh, individual order have a coexistence with the existence and uh, for example if I look at that uh, in physical order one of the unit uh, like water uh, we call uh, by name as a jiva jala uh, so where that water we can see there that life is exist so how all the other three order uh, like a plants animals birds and we people uh, depend on the water so we can i can able to see that without the water uh, we cannot that is how uh, all the four order all the other three order is depends on like only one uh, unit it is there in the uh, the physical order so this is how we can able to see that coexistence that's why uh, in the tradition also we are bowed on the the physical uh, unit like a water we are uh, treat it as like a god and uh, and also in i can able to see in a very village uh, they have we have a uh, uh, in the center of the village they are grow that neem tree and people tree they treat him uh, like a um, uh, like uh, god so uh, because of that uh, at least that means they are giving a more uh, importance to the nature that uh, we can see from that uh, earlier day also so that is the way they are transferring that information for the generation to generation. Uh, that's how I feel. Sir. Okay, ma'am. So it was just a sharing, isn't it? Uh, don't have any questions. Yes. No, sir. Nice, ma'am. So I think now we, are, we can go to the next lecture. Yeah, Adelaide is saying that when block V1 is not activated, are we living with animal consciousness? So yes, we are living with animal consciousness. But we are in the process of transition from animal consciousness to human consciousness. Nice. So now in the next lecture, lecture nine, we are going to talk about right understanding and its impact on human existence. So we saw what right understanding means, what is knowing, what is the process of knowing. And then we'll have a brief look at the impact on the living with this right understanding. So as we saw in the previous lecture, we have been trying to explore into right understanding in detail. In a sense, we saw that right understanding that is knowing is to see the reality as it is in its completeness. The knower is the self, to be known is the entire existence. And the process of knowing, that is understanding, is awakening to the activity of contemplation, understanding and realization. The content of contemplation is natural characteristic, that is the relationship. The content of understanding is innateness, that is harmony, and the content of realization is the coexistence. 
that is the submergence of nature in space we also looked into the process of knowing in detail in the last session and now in this session we look into some details of the realities to be known next slide so right understanding knowing is to see the reality as it is its completeness and to be known in the entire existence and the content of knowing is to know the human being to know the existence and to know and to know the human conduct that is the participation of human being in the entire existence so we'll explore into this one by one so in 3.1.1 we are going to discuss about knowledge of human being 3.1.2 knowledge of existence and then 3.1.3 would be knowledge of human conduct now when we say 3.1.1 that is knowledge of human being so we'll investigate into the details in module 3 about knowledge of existence we'll investigate into the details in module 4 and to discuss the human conduct we'll talk about this partly in module 3 and then also in module 5 so this is the way we are going to proceed presently we are in module 2 now looking at the impact of right understanding on human existence at the level of self and conduct we'll see in brief how right understanding reflects in the overall activities of the self so this is something again we had discussed earlier partly we'll have a relook at that so when the contemplation understanding and realization is ensured in the self then how does the imagination get guided and how it reflects in my conduct so we'll also talk about how, it, how right understanding reflects in the human conduct a detailed discussion will be done after investigating into human being particularly the self in module 3 and into the existence in module 4 so going back to the this diagram of the self now knowing is activation of block b1 where you have these five activities realization authentication understanding determination and contemplation the content of realization is coexistence the content of understanding is harmony in the nature the innateness of the four orders in nature and the content of contemplation is the participation in the larger order that is relationship that is the natural characteristic we are using different terms to indicate the same reality because uh, if you are talking about the various dimensions of a unit okay we are looking from one way and when we are looking at the participation that is taking place we are looking from some other way so that's how the whole thing has been placed using different words so when we say natural characteristic we are talking about one dimension of a unit we're talking about relationship that is something that we are able to see between human beings within the rest of nature and this relationship is also the participation in the larger order so presently we are discussing this we are investigating we are analyzing we are also trying to reflect on our living we'll see that in this whole workshop on one hand we are listening to the proposal and then we are trying to get into the meaning of every word that is being said so with elaboration with discussion we are able to look into the meaning what is being said okay because the words may be common in our language but the meaning might be different so this is one essential part listening to the proposal the second thing is that we are trying to verify the proposal so we are trying to refer the proposal to our natural acceptance isn't it so the more clarity we have about the proposal that is being put forward we are able to verify more precisely at the level of natural acceptance the third thing is that we try to image our living based on this so if this is true then how i'm going to live as a family member as a part of society in my organization as an individual with my body what is going to be my vision mission goal objective of my life how my programs would be now decided so we are trying to image all this in our imagination and you can see that a lot of shift might have taken place in your imagination with the exploration which is continuing isn't it you are able to see the shifts in your desires in your thoughts in your expectation and that is also reflecting in your behavior work and participation so this thing is there and the fourth thing is we try to live accordingly isn't it so we behave accordingly we work accordingly we participate accordingly and in our imagination now we're able to image the whole world as our family isn't it we are able to image the universal human order so this is the way the development is taking place so these are four things which we are trying to do in the process of this awakening you have the mic sir uh -uh, sir uh, in the last, it has shown behavior, work, and participation separately. Actually, this behavior and work constitute uh, uh, this participation. No? Yeah. So
so we have mentioned separately because like this behavior is in mutual interactions uh. work page is again in mutual interactions okay but there is an order in which you are participating for example your college your family your mohalla hai right? na that is the colony where you are living so you are participating in a particular order also so this includes of course behavior and work okay but group this is something more wise. than that group wise ha uh-huh. yeah for example in your family you have four members so you are behaving with other members in the family you are also working in hai na uh, the kitchen you are working in the garden you are working outside so that is regarding a mutual interaction but you have to see whether the needs of the family are being met or not so i may be behaving and you know, ensuring mutual happiness i may be working trying to ensure mutual prosperity but at the same time i have to articulate the needs of my family so i have to plan my work so that okay. all the needs of the family are met mm-hmm. i have to plan my behavior my you know uh, living in such a way that i am able to take care of the feelings of others mm-hmm. so i am trying to ensure harmony in my family order isn't it doing that way so that's how we have placed it separately separately mm. thank you vinay bhaiya is saying contemplation understanding and realization do all these initiate simultaneously or in steps in steps so for example when i am trying to look into my natural acceptance right so i am trying to contemplate maybe at this point of time on the feeling of trust and maybe with investigation i am able to see very naturally that if the other wants to make me happy so i am able to contemplate on trust now this is some development that has taken place in me with that my imagination now gets guided with the feeling of trust i am now completely free of the doubt on intention of the other but still the feeling of love is not there in me so i am able to trust the human being but i am not able to see my relations with every human being i am also not able to see excellence in totality so maybe i do not have the feeling of reverence i do not have the feeling of love so partly this development has taken place in me in fact this partly development of the self at the level of desire is something which is called as sakshatkar also in hindi so i am able to see partly that reality the natural characteristic isn't it and with that there is partly activation of understanding part also it is called as sakshatkar bodh so this is something which keeps on taking place step by step in me so these all things are not going to happen all of a sudden and we can see different levels of development of the self also there could be or there uh, would be a person who is able to realize the whole existence as coexistence but there would be so many people who are not able to reach that state so maybe some people are only trying to contemplate on certain feelings now if you look at ourselves maybe we are not able to act, be active in block b1 but we are preparing for that because once this activity is awakened okay then i will not have any second thoughts about it so for example when i am able to contemplate on the feeling of trust i will not have any doubt on intention of the other but if i am having some doubt it means this activity is not activated so yes bhaiya this will be a gradual process vina bhaiya nice bhaiya uh, bhaiya next slide okay so uh, yes bhaiya i hope we are able to remember all these words which are written on the right hand side so i will not elaborate on that we had discussed about this in detail it is just a recapitulation of what we discussed earlier now when you look at the full expression of human conduct so i am able to realize yeah enlightening means activation of block b1 so the completion of enlightenment is realization realization not uh, only is not enlightenment so it is the completion of enlightenment it is the completion of awakening so this activity of realization is there activated in me i am able to see the whole reality as it is i am able to see my relationship with the entire existence isn't it so i am able to see at that state and that's how i am able to see my submergence in space so if you look at the red arrow on the top so i am an individual self uh, at the level of realization i am able to see my submergence in space and through space i am able to see my relationship with every entity in the nature i am able to understand the harmony in the entire nature this is the completion of development of the self it is also called as activity completeness because all the activities are now activated and now this is guiding so if you look at the red arrow on the top i am able to see myself submerged in space and through space i am able to see my relationship with the entire existence 
the harmony in the entire nature isn't it and now it is guiding my imagination it is guiding imaging analyzing comparing selecting testing and we also had seen a diagram where this zigzag arrow so this imaging gets completed this imaging gets definite with contemplation now it guides my comparing and now my comparing is also fully awakened i no longer am comparing on the basis of merely senses or health or profit but now they are guided they are regulated with the activation of coexistence harmony and justice and then this comparing is guiding my analysis so whatever i am analyzing within me is now free of any kind of randomness contradiction conflict and then every moment i am testing so this analyzing now further guides my testing and i am testing happiness and continuity so the source of happiness is now completely stated in me i am in the state of self organization swatantra i am testing happiness every moment by virtue of this activation of the self by virtue of this competence in me to see myself submerged in space my competence to see the coexistence very naturally every moment so now the source of happiness is stated in me i no longer have to depend on anything outside even my body for my happiness because you can see how this red arrow as it goes down it ensures happiness in continuity at the level of testing and then with this state of happiness i make selection i decide you know my participation so earlier also i was selecting my participation but now i am selecting it testing happiness every moment within me so naturally it will reflect in my conduct so the expression outside it reflects in my interaction with the human being where my every interaction is in terms of mutual happiness my role is definite now the other may or may not be happy at this point of time because the other may not be able to rightly evaluate my competence isn't it but my participation is every moment in terms of happiness of the other i am happy within me and now i am participating every moment in terms of happiness of the other i am working with the rest of nature ensuring mutual prosperity so prosperity the feeling of prosperity is there in me very much isn't it and with that i am working to preserve the nature to enrich the nature to protect the nature to rightly utilize the nature and then i am able to ensure orderliness in my participation so i am able to fulfill my participation in human goal and with that gradually this participation is extending i am able to participate in the universal human order and my conduct is not definite my conduct every moment is in terms of a human tradition okay so when i now uh, do anything in my interaction so i am able to see that this is something which can be sustained generation by generation this is something that will further develop the next generation either it is in terms of education or justice or health or exchange my every participation every moment is in terms of human tradition so that the next generation is able to live a happy and prosperous life this is the expression outside so this realization within is ensured and the expression outside is in terms of human tradition now we might be somewhere in between at this point of time maybe we are active only in block b2 so on one hand we are moving towards realization on the other hand we are moving towards universal human order and human tradition so this is the expression the full expression of human conduct so presently we are somewhere here but when i am fully awakened then this will be my state is this state desirable or not what do you think you can respond in the chat box is this state desirable ji now let me ask another question what do you feel is this achievable so desirable for sure all of you have said desirable is this achievable very nice <laughs> very nice desirable as well as achievable yes ji bhaiya hello ji uh kumar bhaiya one uh, one thing can you help me uh, in uh, explaining the arrows both uh, upward downward and sideways in a consolidated uh, manner so that i can understand the whole thing uh, in a better way 
yeah so the arrow on the top which is pointing upwards it shows i am able to see myself submerged in space yes this arrow pointing to the left show that now block b2 is guided by block b1 hmm. and the arrows on the bottom reflect on our reflect uh, this expression in terms of behavior work and participation so this is a self expression self extension what i am able to see within me reflects in my conduct so whatever is there outside this block b2 is my participation in the larger order isn't it in terms of behavior work going up to the human tradition g and if you look at these two boxes two blocks you know with red border so that shows that on one hand i am trying to ensure realization within and for that i have to participate in the universal human order so the more i am able to work for realization the more definiteness reflects in my participation in terms of universal human order and the more i am able to participate in the human order it further develops my preparation to go upwards towards realization so that's how we say that you have to verify within yourself and also you have to validate in your living so the more i verify verifying means going towards realization the more i am able to validate validating means going up to universal human order so put it very simply in the introductory workshop we said that this is a proposal verify within yourself and validate in your living now this verification you know the completion of this verification is at the state of realization and the completion of this validation is at the state of human tradition is that clear bhaiya yes a is uh, the middle arrow from the b1 to b2 it means that the b1 guides the b2 or b2 guides the b1 no how can b2 guide b1 b1 will guide b2 yeah yeah so it it, it is from top to bottom it comes the process with completion of right understanding now the whole imagination is guided by right understanding prior to that there is a zigzag movement so maybe we are active at the level of imaging but the contemplation has not taken place so we are working towards contemplation so we are trying to activate so you will see that sometimes we place a horizontal arrow in the reverse direction with dotted lines we are trying to activate contemplation so this is one effort similarly we are trying to image a happy and prosperous life and then also trying to uh, ensure definiteness in analyzing comparing selecting testing and even trying to ensure definiteness in the participation so we are presently at some state here in block b2 now this is something that each one of us has got to evaluate for oneself how my imaging is active am i able to image harmony am i able to image relationship also if i'm not able to image relationship i'm not able to image harmony then how will i be able to verify that if i'm dictated by preconditionings okay then that will hamper that will deter my preparation to contemplate to understand j nice bhaiya good morning sir j good morning uh, my question is uh, in case of uh, difficulties comes then only i think of god but uh, for example walking is a good exercise i know but uh, due to some other work i missed that one but in case of any difficulties come i think of god then go to temple like that is it the correct way see there also maybe i am not working for right understanding so it so happens no that we keep on uh, somewhat moving between two states so one is the state when we try to go our way you know trying to make things happen our way and when that doesn't happen then we leave everything to the will of something that we are not aware of so we keep on you know somewhat moving like a pendulum between these two ends both are not going to ensure the right understanding <clears throat> within me so what we essentially need to do we need to verify the proposals now even when we are going to a temple so what we are looking at this is something to be made out are we trying to look at the excellence of the deities or we are trying to borrow something from them ask for something from them maybe in terms of mental peace or some physical facility so that is not going to ensure my mm-hmm. development 
Yeah. When we are looking yeah, at the deities are... also, we have to see how developed the self has been of the deities and how I can develop myself like that. At that time, we reduce our uh, tension level. Uh, we have to focus on God. See, what is God now? We have to understand. What is God? Uh, because uh, in case of difficulties, I pray the God. For example, if the exam is uh, before going to the exam, I pray the God. The question paper must be easy. I yeah, yeah. Get now this is, this is yeah. Now this is something that I am trying to fetch from outside. Let the paper be easy so that I can compete, so that I can get over, you know, so that I can yes. get a good job and so on and so forth. I am begging something from outside. Yes. Okay. Now this is neither going to ensure realization in me nor going to ensure this expression outside in terms of human conduct. Outside. I may have a desire that let me get a lottery, and to that a draw is going to take place. So I go to you know, some place and then start saying that yes, mm. let me win the lottery. So how is it going to ensure right understanding? How is it going to ensure mm -hmm. my human conduct? So essentially, you now when we are going to some place where we have, uh, we are able to refer to the deities. So we have to look into their living. That is worship. Worship essentially is to see the excellence in the other and then try to be excellent in place of begging for something asking for something from the other i'll try to be like the other okay thank you i'll try to ensure that excellence in me Ji. thank you nice Bia. Bia, can you put up the next slide now when this development has taken place in me and i'm able to participate so now this would be the state now having a look at the entire existence we are able to see that the whole nature is submerged in space there are two kinds of units in the nature material and consciousness and the material order is there in two orders physical order and bio order this consciousness unit when it is coexisting with the bio order then one order is there which is the animal order and the other order is the human order and we can see that in the entire nature okay, the physical order if you look at it there is cyclicality there there is no development in the bio order also there is no development okay the development only the self of the human being the development is also taking place to some extent in the animal order but that is limited but in the human order it is a possibility that within one lifespan by looking at the reality assigning the correct priority to right understanding we are able to activate the self to this extent so this is actually the development here there is no cycle. Once I am able to realize the whole existence and coexistence, I will never forget. Now this draws multiple conclusions. It's not that I will go back to my previous state after realization. Sometimes that we try to imagine. That is not there. Once I am awakened, I am awakened in continuity. It will be there forever, isn't it? I am awakened forever. And you can just think, you can just imagine you know, that I am awakened forever with this effort. If I'm able to note this development that has to take place in me, if I'm able to note the potential in me, then I'm able to rightly evaluate my role with the body also. That I have to utilize my body to ensure this awakening. Isn't it? This body is not meant for consumption. This body is meant for working as an instrument to develop the self. Isn't it? Every moment that I have in my life has to be dedicated towards realization. Has, been, has to be dedicated towards my participation. That is assigning the right priority to right understanding. So this is the development in the nature, which is going to take place in the self, by the self, by knowing the entire existence. <clears throat> and for every self, that particular self is responsible. For me, I am responsible. For you, you are responsible. The environment may be conducive or may not be conducive. It may be favorable or unfavorable. But essentially, what matters is your priority. Maybe your family members are so good, you know, caring for you. And you are lost in their behavior, the behavior that you get from them, the physical facility that you enjoy in the family. And you are not able to work for right understanding. So even if the environment is conducive, your effort, your priority is gone. And there could be a situation when the condition in the family is not so favorable. Isn't it? But we are able to assign the right priority to right understanding. It all depends our on the self, our own uh, clarity about the priority in life, isn't it?
and that is something that we have to keep working for and the good thing is that the more i am able to awaken myself i am in a happier state i am in a state which is, which is more comfortable which is acceptable to me naturally so i am not doing it as a kind of pressure i am not doing this because i have to do good to others no this is something that is going to make me comfortable this is something that is going to make me happy in continuity ji bhaiya next slide bhaiya so this is the transformation that has to take place now presently as we have discussed earlier also that we might be living with animal consciousness but we have to transform to human consciousness now with animal consciousness the state of the self is something which is there on the left hand side and that is promoting a inhuman society the society having so many issues and problems isn't it so much of strife so much of struggle conflict dilemmas contradictions but this is not our naturally acceptable state so if i am not able to work for right understanding then i participate in an inhuman society and that inhuman society creates a uh, atmosphere which is not conducive for right understanding for the next generation and this goes generation by generation but when i am able to intervene here through self exploration i am able to understand what development means what transformation means so i start working for my development and the more i work for my development i am able to participate in the development of the other also for the society and the society not develops a more conducive atmosphere environment for the development of every self for example education in fact we got a letter yesterday that ugc has also made it mandatory that universal human values has to be taken up seriously by every institution in the country now you can see that we all are working as a team developing ourselves and then people are able to value it and they are able to <clears throat> create a more conducive atmosphere for the development of every self so these two go hand in hand the more i am able to develop myself i create a more conducive atmosphere outside in the society and that creates a more conducive atmosphere for every self to develop so the human education ensures personal transformation and the personal transformation taking place in every person ensures societal transformation isn't it and we can see that natural multiplication process so many of us are waking up early in the morning earlier if somebody would have asked us to wake up early in the morning we would have taken it as a pain they also have felt angry upon the other why is this person dictating upon me why should i wake up so early in the morning and now we are working you know so consistently to wake up in the morning isn't it to work for self development also we are asking so many questions we are listening to others questions the responses we are trying to work on ourselves so that sincerity that we are able to see within okay is also making our family sincere we are also able to see that yes right understanding holds such a priority so my personal transformation is a very natural key to societal transformation if i go to transform the society without developing the self then ultimately it will lead to some kind of fiasco some big failure in fact many times this has been tried upon that we try to develop the society without developing the self and mostly what we try to work upon is at the level of body or physical facility and then we try to control things we try to dictate upon people and that creates uh, some kind of uprising revolt in the society so we might be concerned about the society but we have to see very clearly that the society will get transformed only through personal transformation if you try to skip this step then the society is not going to transform and the personal transformation in general will take place with my transformation isn't it so i have to look at myself as a person ji next slide bhaiya so this might be the current state when uh, the society is inhuman we talked about this earlier also at the level of individual there are so many wrong assumptions ruling our imagination money is everything nobody is trustworthy okay every other person is your enemy you have to win over others you have to uh, win this game of cutthroat competition so many wrong assumptions might be there in our imagination and then we go for accumulation by any means and in society we can see domination exploitation fear we try to master over the nature but this is all self defeating 
it neither ensures happiness in the human being nor prosperity in the family nor fearlessness in the society nor persistence in the nature and then we have these wrong fallouts that we can see on the bottom but the natural acceptance is for something which is written on the top we want a human society and that is that means ensuring right and standing right feeling in every individual so that every individual is able to live with happiness ensuring prosperity in every family fearlessness in society and coexistence in nature and existence so for self reflection the assignment today would be human being is an integral part of nature or existence <clears throat> with a specific role to play units of the other orders physical order bio order animal order have a predefined participation and they are in harmony performing that participation only in the case of human being it has to understand and play its existential role to be able to be in harmony and therefore to be able to be in a state of happiness in continuity so explain the impact of right understanding on human living now this is something which uh, can be taken up so we discussed about this we use several keywords now try to imagine this at a personal level we try to imagine a human society what will happen in a human society we <clears throat> talked about in a very crisp manner but try to see how will i fulfill my needs in a human society how will i fulfill my relationship in a human society how will the festivals take place how will the you know administration in the society take place how will the elections take place how will the government work will there be government or not what will be the state of the government how will organizations work you know, what would happen to the it sector what would happen to the agriculture sector try to imagine all this that will help you image a human society so this is also an important and doable task in fact we have been doing this at a personal level let me say that when we began our journey i used to image all the dimensions of society how they will work in a human society so that is something that we have to do as a homework within us it is time now i wanted to go up to this part because there was not much more content something new to be discussed in today's lecture so with this we go for the assignment mm -hmm. thank you